Bonjour Sagittarius and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your messages from your ancestors. Now please bear in mind those are general readings, they will not resonate with everybody. Um, just take what resonates and drop the rest. Now the, if you like the cards I'm using, um, I have reviewed all my decks and I will drop a link in the description box below for you if you're interested and in how to get them. Now what do we have for my Sagittarius Quarants please? What do we need to hear from the ancestors? Can you show me, please? So we have tangibility. Make your dreams real. It's also card 32, which reduces to number 5, which means it's time for a change. You also have protection, set personal boundaries, 26, which reduces to number 8, the number of advancement, and 24, paradisiacal, you belong to paradise, that reduces to number 6, harmony after having overcome a change or a challenge. So let me move my deck away so I can talk to you about these beautiful cards. Okay, so... I'm getting the message that right now you are in a situation that doesn't serve you the best. Um, with the card of you belong to paradise, this is your ancestors telling you you deserve better than whatever it is you're having right now. Now whether we're talking about a relationship, a job, a place where you live, you, you know you know why you're here. Um, but they're telling you that you deserve so much better um, and you need to set personal boundaries. So there may be somebody in your environment who is basically um, abusive. I'm sorry, that's the word that... Uh, no, it's a very, very strong word, but that's the word that's in my head and keeps screaming in my head. Um, people take advantage of you. you. You're a very good person, is what I'm hearing, and people are pushing. You know, it's very sad, but very often, um, the more you give, the more you are expected to give. It's that kind of energy. It's the, you know, you're a kind soul, you're very helpful, you're kind to people, you give a lot, whether it's of your time, of your resources, your, your feelings, whatever the case may be. And people are really abusing that. And your ancestors are telling you, you know, make your dreams real. You are wishing or hoping for something. Now again, it could be starting a new business, a project, a relationship, moving away. And they're telling you that now is the time. Now is the time for change. It's time for you to get what you truly deserve um, because you are worth it. You deserve better is what I keep on hearing. And this will be happening if you set boundaries. So for some of you, if it's at work, there's some people who are probably taking um, advantage of you in the sense that they're uh, getting the glory for the hard work that you, you are putting into. I I'm hearing you're very creative and people may be stealing your ideas, you know, presenting your ideas in front of the boss and saying it's them, that kind of thing. But that's just for some of you, it's a very specific message. Um, and for some others of you, if you're in a relationship where um, your partner is kind of suffocating you, is, is stopping you from achieving your full potential is what I'm hearing. Um, for whatever reason, you know, sometimes people are like that because they're afraid of change, because they're worried they're going to lose you if they let you do those things, give you that amount of freedom, whatever the case may be. But your answers are telling you that if this is your ancestors, sorry, are telling you that if this is the case, you need to set some boundaries with this other person. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship, it can also be a family member, like a parent, who is kind of stopping you from making your dreams come true because they're just, you know, putting some boundaries for some reason and you deserve better. There is evidently, with this card, a, a higher purpose for you. Um, a better future and you're not there yet because there is a block. Um, 
but your ancestors are telling you now is the time to make it happen. That's what I'm hearing loud and clear. So I'm going to delve into those messages with the tarot now. Clarify those messages for my Sagittarius querents, please. So we have the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Supporting you, which is the energy at the bottom of the deck, we have the Death card. Yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised to seeing this card here. Um, the Death card actually um, turned up in the Leo reading, so if you've got Leo in your chart, uh, you may be interested to have a look at this reading. But a major arcana is a big energy on your life path. It's got a bigger impact um, than the minors. The minors reflect the day-to-day -day life situations, events, people. And death is the card of uh, the end of something, the permanent end of something, happening for a reason, because it needs to die so that something better can be birthed out of the ashes. It's like the phoenix rising, sometimes people say that. So this is a very deep transformation um, that you are um, undergoing. So, yeah, I'm not surprised to see that here. I, I can see because this is, a ne this is necessary for you to, max to maximize um, your power, for you to um, be, fulfill your life purpose, you know, with the paradisiacal um, card. There's something that needs to go so that you can grow something else, which is that dream. Because this is your life purpose. The dream you're thinking about, what you're trying to create, but are not because, you know, you have a problem of boundaries, whether it's at work or at home. Um, this is stopping you from realizing the dream, which is your life purpose, your calling. And here we have the Page of Cups. And you see the pages represents new directions, they represent messages, but also... Um, Inexperience, the desire to train in order to become a knight. Cups is water energy, this is your feelings, your emotion, your intuition. And the page of cups obviously could be a, uh, a message that makes you happy, um, but it represents taking on a new direction for some of you um, because the cup holds the happiness, you know, the water is your feelings, your emotion. So it may be uh, a message of taking a new direction for you. But it can also be um, working out your feelings regarding a situation, which obviously I can see make your dreams real. She's blindfolded, okay? So she's unsure about how to do it. She's helped by the ancestors and spirit with the, the bird here, but she sees this very much as a dream, um, something that's difficult to manifest because it's not real, you know, with the clouds, um, the subconscious. And so this card may well... Um, represent the need to clarify uh, your feelings regarding this dream that um, you need to manifest. But what's beautiful is that when you set personal boundaries, you will get victory because you've got the six of wands. And six is um, harmony after having overcome a challenge, which I did say here with paradisiacal. So you've got two number sixes. And wands is fire energy. This is very much your energy. So it's passion, desire, your willpower. And the Six of Wands talks about overcoming a change in this situation, the setting of boundaries with people, and being victorious. And with this vict victory it comes an element of recognition. You know, people will look up to you, is what I'm hearing. They will respect you for doing what you, would, you're, you are advised to do. And again, you have free will, okay? You are sovereign of your life. I'm just telling you what the messages are. But... Once you've worked out your feelings regarding your dreams and you decide, if you so do, to uh, set personal boundaries and go for it, there's going to be an element of respect and people looking up to you, seeing you as a strong person um, who knows what they want and will not tolerate people walking all over them again. 
and this will bring you to the Ten of Wands. Now, Ten is completion in Tarot, and Wands, as I've just explained, is your suit, the fire, the passion, the desire, and there's progression, because you go from a six to a ten, and it's gonna come fast, because it's a big jump from six to ten. So in, in time-wise, it will go fast. And Ten of Wands is having given 200% of yourself to something and being able to release it. And what people very often forget about it is, yes, the Ten of Wands is a card of being tired because you have given a lot of time, sweat, tears, energy, financial resources, all of the above, take what resonates. But you've not lost any of your Wands. This is you successfully completing something so something else can start, which is very much echoed by this death card when I said to you there's a big transformation coming, something needs to end so that something better can start. And I see the progression, the unraveling of this, you know, with you trying to um, work out how you feel about this situation or person, um, deciding to set your boundaries which is going to give you the success, you know, on how to make your dreams um, how to start manifesting your dreams, the element of respect that people will have for you, and you can end then this cycle so that you may start on your new journey that's going to lead you to, you know, something so much better, something that's way more worthy of you. So I'm going to close out your reading with final messages. So can I have some final messages for my Sagittarius Quirance, please? So you have first quarter moon in Libra, keep your heart open. So if you work with the moon energies, the first quarter moon will be um, the right moment to do a little ritual or visualization, but the advice from your ancestors is whilst you go through this process, and in order to find out you know, how you're feeling about things, you need to keep your heart open, do not close up, is um, the bit of advice. And the bottom of the deck is the first quarter moon. So you've got two first quarter moons, you see, so there's a message here as well just for that. But this time it's in Aquarius. Note that Libra and Aquarius has, are both air energy, so mental energy. Trust the universe. So you see, there is a very strong message of saying that there is something much better for you. You are completely worthy of happiness, success, abundance, and you just need to have faith. But the end of this cycle, which is coming with a death card, is for your highest good. And you really need um, to set those personal boundaries so that you may manifest your dreams. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful in any way, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate your time. I wish you a beautiful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.